Hi guys, the best way of learning something is doing a lot of examples of it. So today I'm going to be doing this example, making a program um, to help us understand the concept of CIN that we talked about last time, the inputting statement. Okay, so we want to make a program that asks the user to enter his name or her name and his or her first grade, his or her second grade, and his or her third grade. So the name and the three grades. Okay, We want to take that information from the user through our console and then we want to calculate for him or her the average of his grades. Okay, And I'm sick of saying his or her so I'm just going to say Hirsch or whatever. Hirsch, yeah. Okay, so we take Hirsch grade, the, the first, second, and third, and then we give Hirsch the average of it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We start by declaring our variables. So what do we need? We need to, to get four things right from the user. So we need, and, and one of them is a string because it's a name, and the, three, the other three are integers, or actually doubles because grades can be doubles. It can be 90.5 or 14.3, right? Or if you want, we can just make them integers, whatever you feel like it. I'm going to make them doubles. So, um, string name, okay, and then int or double, I said double, g1, g2, g3, okay. Okay, and since we have the string included already, so we don't have to include it again, right? Um, so now that's declaring our variables for the input. Now what about the output? We need to show the user the average, right? So we need to have a double average. We can even have it on the same line here, and I think I'm just going to do that. Okay, there you go. And delete this. Nice. That's the declaring our variable state, um, um, stage. And also, I want to tell you something. You can make comments by doing two slashes like that and then writing whatever you want. So, And this would not be counted in the code. It's just comments for you. So I'm going to go ahead and write declaring vars, which means variables. OK. Nope. OK. Now the second step is basically we're going to actually um, get info from user. Now this is not code, again this is just comments. That's how you make a comment. So to get info from the user all you gotta do is um, prompt him to know or ask him to enter it. So C out like that and then you say enter name. Okay. And then you get a C in and you put whatever he enters into the string name. So whatever he enters for his name is going to be stored in name. Then give it a break, give it like a line here, and L, and then ask again for something else. See out what's your no. Okay, so what's your first grade? And then right there, put a semicolon and C in whatever he enters goes in G1, right? And give it a break again, so C out, um, uh, and L, to give it a line. And then let's tell the user, so, so far we have um, C out, enter name, so the user is going to see the word enter name. And then here it's going to wait for him to enter his name. Whatever he enters is stored in name. And then it's going to print an empty line or just go on the next line. And then see out um, what's your first grade. So that's what the user is going to see. And then it's going to ask him to enter, or not ask him, this is it asking him. This right here, it's just going to wait for him to enter something. And then it's going to store that something into G1. Okay, and then it's going to see out and L, which means it's going to go on to the next line. And then see out what's your second grade. You can copy and paste all this, you know, because you have it once. You can just change 
what's your first, you can make it second or third and then change the G1 to G2, okay? But I just like typing it, you know, why not? Um, CN G2, okay, and then C out, and L. Now we want to ask him for his third grade, or her third grade. What's your third grade? Right? Okay. And C in G3 and C out and L. Okay. Okay. So now that's getting the, the information from the user. We got his name, his first grade, his second grade, his third grade. Or Hirsch, 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 Hirsch. Okay, so now we're going to calculate the average. So since we have average already declared right here as in double, all we need to do now is just give it a value. So we're going to give average the value because the user is not going to you know, enter the average. He wants to know what the average is. Otherwise, he would have went to a calculator, but he wants to use your console because it's so great. So. Um, AVG or average, you can name it whatever you want. It just depends on what you declared it in, in the uh, code earlier. So average equals, and we want it to be G1 plus G2 plus G3. Put that into parentheses and then divide the whole thing by 3 because that, that's what the average is, right? Hope you guys know how to calculate an average. Um, and then you see out your averages and then give it some here and say AVG. Okay. Okay, so I hope you guys follow the logic behind it. Let's see. And this is calculating the uh, finding average and this is right here, it is printing, printing it. Okay, debug, start without debugging, and yes. Now we might get errors, but yeah, we have errors, and that's because AVG undeclared identifier. Let's see why that is. Double AVG, it's declared right there, and we probably used. Um, AVG. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, there's no comma right here. See? There you go. And now, because it wasn't including AVG in this declaration statement, declaration statement, right? Because there was no comma, so it didn't understand that. So debug, start without debugging. Yes. And now we don't have any errors. Okay, enter name. Call it. What's my first grade? I got a um, 90. Second grade? Uh, 80. Third grade, I got a 70. And my average is 80. Of course, you just need to fix these spaces, and that's all it is. And here you go. This is your average calculator. Okay, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, watch my next video. We're going to talk some more about what we can do with math in C++. Okay, see ya, bye.